lying, Donna. You know you're lying. And you know it won't do you any good. Because this time I'm going to pass judgment. Myself. <laughs> Fifteen years. I've been thinking about this. Dreaming about it. My fingers around your throat. Digging into that flabby windpipe of yours. Tighter. And tighter. Till you stop struggling and... Yes. And now... I've got a nice grave all ready and waiting for you. Right next to your friend. Three graves yawning on a lonely, fog-bound island, waiting. For whom? You'll learn the answer in just a moment in tonight's story, The Island of the Dead. And now our story, The Island of the Dead, an original radio play by one of radio's best-known mystery writers, Robert Newman. The story of a dead man who came back. It's a small island, flat and barren, lying in the middle of the river. And it's truly an island of the dead. For it's the city's potter's field. It's here that the nameless dead are buried. Those who have no relatives to claim them those who are too poor to pay for burial elsewhere. At one end of the island is the pier where the city launch docks. At the other end of the island, in the midst of the shallow graves, is the squat stone building where the watchman lives. It's 11.30 at night now, and he's sitting in the office, reading a paper and listening to the river sounds when... Who's there? Who's that? I said, who's there? Who the devil are you? What do you want? I think that this is where I'm supposed to come. What do you mean? Hey, wait a minute. Are you the new relief man? My name is Simon. I'm Hallity. From now on, lay off that stuff, will you? This place is bad enough without you spooking around. Not answering when someone talks to you. Bad? The crying bells, you know what the job is, don't you? Receiving the stiffs that they send out. Keeping the records and digging the graves. You'd be all alone. Except for Joe, the guy that runs the launch up at the other end of the island. He only comes out when he has to. Yes, I know. Well, I'll go change me shirt and blow. I didn't think they were going to be able to get a relief man until next week. I'm sure glad you got out here tonight. This place was really starting to get me down. And I'll be out in a couple of minutes. see that. Three of them. What for? Because they'll be needed before the night is over. Huh? Y- you mean they called up and told you to get them ready? It's funny. I didn't hear the phone. No. No one phoned. Well, then, then why are you doing it? I told you. I think they'll be needed. Y- you think? Uh, look, I'm going right now. I- I- I'll be back tomorrow night. Unless I decide not to come back at all. I don't get it. Who are you talking about? And when did I see him? The new relief man. Just came out about a half hour ago. You must have seen him. This is the only way you can get out to the island. That's why I don't get it. 
If anybody did come out to the island, I'd be bound to see him. But no one did. Not tonight. What? What do you mean? I mean, I only made one trip out tonight. I didn't have no passengers. At least not live ones. All I brought out was a stiff. <laughs> Marsh? Yes, speaking. Is this Mr. Alec Marsh, the attorney? Attorney? Well, I used to be one. I haven't practiced law in over ten years. Who's this? This is the watchman of the city cemetery out on Channel Island. I'd appreciate it very much if you'd come out here immediately. Come out there? In the middle of the night? What for? To identify a body. To, to what? Uh, what makes you think that I can identify it? I have reason to believe that you are one of the few people who can identify it. It's quite urgent. If you take the launch at River Street, I'll meet you at this end. Will you do it? Well, I don't know. It's a funny business, but... Well, all right. I'll leave right away. Is it much further to the island? Nope. You can't see it because of the fog, but it's just right ahead there. Is this something new? Getting people to go out to the island to identify bodies? Don't they usually do it down at the morgue? Yeah, mostly, but I once in a while I get some dope after the body's been shipped out to the island. Uh, well, I don't like it, any part of it. Getting a man out in the middle of the night. This trip, especially with a river like this, not being able to see anything. Just the whistles and the foghorns. And then landing there on the island where... Oh, for two cents, I'd go right back with you. Not go ashore at all. Well, here we are. Just let me make a fast. Okay. Well? You getting off? I... I don't know. I, I'll tell you what. The man that phoned said he'd meet me. I, uh, I'll go up to the end of the dock. If he's not there, I'll come back. Okay. Mr. Marsh? We, yes? Was it you who phoned me? Yes. Will you follow me, please? This way. Uh, how the dickens can you see where you're going when it's so dark? You get used to it. Just as you get used to anything. As a matter of fact, it's probably just as well that it is so dark. Why? It couldn't be worse even in daylight when you can see the graves. But how did you happen to call me on this business anyway? I told you. Because you're one of the very few people who can be of any help. Weren't you the attorney for the defense in the Sloan case? Sloan? Sloan? I can't remember. I... Simon Sloan. Yes. I, I'm not sure. If, if I was, it was a long time ago. More than 15 years. But you should remember. Yes, yes, I think I was. He was convicted on a charge of murder in the second degree and got 20 years. With time off for good behavior, he's probably out now and... and... Wait a minute. Is that who you want me to identify? Is he dead? Here we are. Watch the step going in. Well, what are you waiting for? Aren't you going to put on the light? No, not yet. Well, what was that? The door. You you locked the door. What's the idea? What, what are you trying to do? That's just so we won't be disturbed. Disturbed? Well, who's going to disturb us? I insist you put on the light. Open that door immediately. We were talking about the Sloan case. You admitted that you were the attorney for the defense. Do you feel that you did a good job of defending him? How do I know? How do you expect me to remember? The fact that he was convicted doesn't mean that it was my fault. Besides, what's that got to do with you? 
Did you think that he was guilty? How do I know what I thought? What difference does it make? He, he pleaded guilty. He wasn't guilty. He didn't want to plead guilty. Who made him change his plea? If I did, so what? Very well. There. Where is... <gasps> you. It's... It's you. You're Simon Sloan. <laughs> A dead man on the island of the dead. In three waiting graves. As the clock moves steadily towards the witching hour, prepare yourself for murder at midnight. opposite him, and slowly, his face pale and drawn, he sinks into a chair. You, you, you shouldn't have done this to me. I told you I'm not well. I, I've got a bad heart. Why did you do what you did to me? Why did you make me change my plea to guilty? I, I had to. Why? Because, because Donna, the district attorney, made me. He wanted the conviction to build up his record. And he had something on me. An attempted bribery in another case. What are you going to do to me? I, I've got to get away from here. I'm a sick man, I tell you. I... I'm not going to do anything to you. You can go now. If you can. There. The door's open. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? You... You think I can't make it, don't you? And that's why you're letting me go. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you. I just have to take it easy and... No, I didn't think you would make it. That is why I'm not angry at you. Now I have a place for you. Right outside here. For you... And for some others, too. Hello? Mr. Donner? Yes, who's this? This is the watchman at the city cemetery out on Channel Island. We have a body out here that we'd very much like you to look at. It's a body? What for? We think that possibly you may be able to identify it. And what makes you think that? Well, after all, you were district attorney for several years. What? Uh, Why, I haven't been DA for... What's that got to do with it? It may have a great deal to do with it. Will you come? The launch leaves from the foot of River Street. Yes, 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 I know. There's something very strange about this, but... All right, I'll come. Will there be someone to meet me at the other end? Yes, Mr. Donner. I'll meet you. I'll be waiting for you. Is it usual to have someone try and identify a body when it's already in a grave? Oh, no, it's very unusual. But this was a rather special case. I'm sorry I haven't any flashlight, but I do have a candle. There. Good. Good Lord. Then you do know him? Yes. Yes, I know him. His name is Marsh. Alec Marsh. He was disbarred about ten years ago. When did he die? About an hour ago. But but that's impossible. He, he couldn't have gotten here so quickly. Or not if he was dead. But when he came here, he was still alive. I, I don't understand. Why should he have come out here in the first place? Well, because I phoned him. I asked him to come out. Just as I asked you to come out. You see, I wanted to talk to him about this Simon Sloan case. The, the Sloan case? But what? 
How? Wait a minute. Lift that candle up. You. You're slow. Yes, Doc. I'm slow. What's left of him after 15 years in jail? You're the man who sent me there when you knew I wasn't guilty. You can't blame me for that. After all, it was my job to prosecute. And when I did find out the truth... You did find it out, eh? When I did, it was too late. You'd already been convicted and sent up, and I... I've, I've got to get away from here. No. I... No. No, 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 not yet. There are a few more things you're going to tell me, Frank. How did you find out I wasn't guilty? The, the detective in the case told me. A chap named Richards. Bill Richards. Richards. Yes, it would be Richards. But I do it. When you found out the truth, you could have ordered a new trial and gotten me out. But you didn't. You let me stay there and rot. No, 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 I, I couldn't. It was just Richard's word. He said he wouldn't testify. You're lying, Donna. You know you're lying. And you know it won't do you any good. Of course, this time I'm going to pass judgment. Myself. <gasps> oh. Fifteen years. I've been thinking about this. Dreaming about it. Fingers around your throat, digging into that flabby windpipe of yours. Tighter and tighter until you stop struggling and... Yes. Now I've got a nice grave all ready and waiting for you. Over here, right next to Marsh. And one more for our friend Richard. Yes, shall we get out? Yes. Now, you wait right here for us, Joe. I've seen it to you, Hardy, I will. You sure have had my belly full. Quite a night. Well, look who's talking. Me, I've got to go traipsing all over this bloody island just because your friend here comes into the station house with a story nobody believes except the captain. For crying bells, Richards. You think I made it up? What about those two other guys Joe said he brought out here? What about those three graves this guy Simon was digging? Well, where are they? Did you dream them up, too? I didn't dream anything up, Richards. They're right over here. Hmm. They do look like graves. I got a match here someplace. Let's take a look at them. Good. Good Lord. There's a body in this one. And in this one here, too. I see them. This one here looks like... What? What is Marsh? Alec Marsh. And that's John Donner. Now am I crazy? Now was I making things up? Shut up. This guy that came out here. He said his name was Simon... Yes. Was he, uh, let's see, he must be about 50, 55 now. Probably looks older. Tall, thin face, gray hair. Oh, that's right, that's him. Do you know him? Yeah, I know him. Look, I was ribbing you before, but that man's dangerous. Killer. I'm going to stay here and try and find him. But I'll probably need help. You and Joe take the launch back to shore, get hold of the captain, and have him send out three or four more men. Fast. Okay, it's just right away. Sloan. Oh, where are you? I know it's you, and you know you can't get away. Ah, that building. Went in there, huh? One of us got a gun. Yeah, so see. Stick him up, Sloan. I'll let you have it. Reach, did you hear me? Yes, Richard. I hear you. Put on the light. There isn't any light in here. But I've got a candle. Just a second. So, it really is you. I heard you were out of stir, and I was sure it was as soon as I saw Marsh and Donner out there. You killed them, didn't you? Yes, I killed them. <laughs> this is really funny. I'd like to hear someone now say there isn't such a thing as fate. Yes, it is funny. 
I tried to get you on the phone just the way I did Marsh and Donna. But of course I could. Then you come out here on your own. You thought you'd get me too, huh? Well, that's okay. I tried to get you, and I would have if that jury hadn't gone so panty waste and given you just 20 years. You know that it was me that framed you, don't you? Yes, I know it. I just don't know why. Why? Because I've always hated you, that's why. I was just a flat foot and you were a gambler, pulling in big dough. I never could touch you on the level. That's why I hated you. That's why I framed you. Well, I didn't get you then, 15 years ago. But I've got you now. Have you, Richard? I guess maybe you ought to look around. See where we are. Hmm? What do you mean? We're in the room where they keep the stiffs until they're buried. Kind of an ice box. And if you'll notice, there's no handle on this side of the door. That means there's no way of getting out. What? Why, you... So what? Someone will be along sooner or later. Oh, when anyone does, it'll be too late. Because that door is airtight. That means that as soon as we use up the air that's in here now, we're finished. Both of us. And it's starting to get bad already. Feel it? I mean, you... You trapped me. You got me in here deliberately. Well, you won't get away with it. Bad. No good, Richard. That won't hurt me. Not any more than I'm hurt already. You see, I'm all gone inside. That's why they released me. I must have passed out in the street last night, and my heart was so bad that they thought I was dead. They sent me out here for burial. But I wasn't dead. I couldn't die until I even things up. And the boat, they waited until they put me ashore. Now I've done it. Gotten all three of you. No. No, no. There must be some way out. So... <clears throat> the smoke. I... I can't breathe. No, Richard. It's... it's getting worse every minute. There's no way out. That candle. That's our life, see? When that goes out, we're finished. And it's starting to... Turn blue already. Help. Help. Somebody, please. There's no help, Richards. This is it. There. The candle's gone out. You might just as well lie down and take it quietly like, like me. Well, there's just one thing. One little thing. You see, I only dug three graves for the three of you. Now, someone else will have to dig mine. Gasping bodies drop to the floor. The mission of Simon Sloan is completed. First, Marsh. Then, Donner. And finally, Richards. Succumb to... Murder! <laughs> At
remember to be with us again when death stalks the wicked as the clocks strike twelve for murder at midnight. <laughs>